to show you how to generate a part in ePlan with 3D Macro. So to begin, let's import our step files, these two here, and then give the layout spaces a name. So this one's going to be called Circuit Breaker. And put EMA on the end just so we know what file type it is. And I'll do the same for the auxiliary. This time I will call it auxiliary. So then working on the circuit breaker, we're going to unite it first, so graphic, and then unite, and then we'll give it a placement area. Just want to spin it around, and then I'll define a handle. I'm just going to turn it to the side and grab this point here, and then this point here. Then we'll insert a mounting point, so I'll just spin it around, select the surface you want, and then there we go. So let's double click, and I'll give it a new name, so se. Oh, so I'm going to give this one, and then that's the circuit breaker done. Let's work on the auxiliary. So again, let's graphic and unite it, and then give it a placement area. So the dinner rail again, and then also give it a handle, like so. So it gives the only point you can mount on is here, and then if I just select both of them in the tree and hit Control K to generate them. I'll then jump over to my schematic project and start creating the part. So if I insert this normally open contact to begin with, and then I don't need to care about its DT for now. I'm just going to give it a part number of circuit breaker auxiliary. And then this auxiliary also contains a normally closed contact. So I'm just going to place it on the page. I'm going to delete its DT because it can adopt it from left to right. So then I'll go and insert a circuit breaker, so protective device, and then safety switch, this one here, and then also place it on the page and give it a part number. So I'm going to call this one circuit breaker. So if you just right click on it, you can generate the parts. And then all I need to do is tell it to use this macro that I just created. And then also I will go back in and tell it to assign a accessory. So on here, if I just generate part, I'll press OK, and then I just go to the mounting data, assign its auxiliary, and then on the accessories, make sure the part is an accessory, and then hit apply. On the circuit breaker, I can now assign the accessory. So it's going to be this one. Click OK, hit apply, synchronize, and now I'm ready to place this in my project. So here's the circuit breaker. And then to assign that auxiliary device, go over here, just select here, hit OK. And now we have this device in our tree. So if I just synchronize selection using this function here, I can see it in my project. I can then drag this over and place it in 3D. And the auxiliary contact will snap perfectly on the left-hand side here. 